We're just going to call him Infused from now on. Um, and he is playing it today, and I'm hoping that they're actually going to go live. Now, yeah, they have. So, yeah, you're through to Vanilla TV here with the ESA uh, Ozone Open Cup number three. Unlocks galore between Infuse, who are in blue, and Broda, who are in red. And your cast is on Mia, and by and streamer is Ari. Take it over away on middle here, Mia. Right, so you can see that Merlin here is already running the quick fix. He actually jumped right onto mid with Rib there. You can also see that Zephyrside has actually, in fact, gone heavy. He's taken down quite a few people. Flash there going down alongside T Mac. And uh, Thalash being on scout. Merlin there getting piped by uh, Cadus all the way from second. So this will mean that Tunis has a good uber advantage. And they will be able to maybe push out on that right now as Broder have just finished capping four. Love it, love it with the heavy there, absolute sublime. Meat shield, on the point, high advantage, no way you're going to block this with Uber Soldier, see you later, and they cap the point here. So obviously, like you said, they have a clear 90% Uber Charge advantage. I'm just trying to take a look at where Mirulin is. Mirulin is running the quick fix, very interesting play. I would definitely be more tended to, to run it when I have a heavy, let's put it that way, Mir, because obviously a heavy who takes a lot of damage can get healed so quickly, and then he has to take another 375 damage, doesn't he? Yeah. So uh, it's going to be interesting here. They're actually looking to push, and that soldier's just been owned, and they are going to lose time here in terms of... Are they going to Uber out here? They're going to have it in time. Zebosai should be able to get Uber, but they do lose Kadus actually as demo. So now he has been quick fixed. What can they do against this heavy? Nothing. This is the thing. This is why I was saying I would tend to use the quick fix on a heavy, because there's nothing he can do. And in fact, it takes down Cookie. And it's all up to Zephyrsai, and in fact now they're in trouble here, bro, uh, Infused, because... And there's no way Ips is getting this against the Heavy. Be very surprised. Oh, he might be able to! No, he's still behind the rock. Focus yeah, on he's, something. Uh, he's so low, he's got 20 health right now. He still manages to jump, uh, gets half a rocket onto uh, Marilyn, but doesn't manage to get anything more. His T-Mac there goes down as well. So uh, that quick fix really did work in kiting that Uber. Yeah, really loving Zephyrsai for going Heavy. Like, I mean, I know I said I didn't want him to because he's such a good soldier, but... Oh, a, trip, a double kill there by Cadus with the sticky traps, but he gets down for all his woes. And now they have Quick Fix going to last for two scouts. This is very interesting. Are they going to be able to kill them? This is going to be very interesting now. Two Quick Fix scouts. They're getting healed so much and they can't stop it. <laughs> oh, Quick Fix for the win. Oh my god. There you go. That's yeah. why it's so powerful. <laughs> wow, that that was amazing. Just that double scout Uber with Merlin running at the same speed as them. They And uh, of course with the quick fix Uber you can still cap with that. And that just... CC just couldn't get there in time. CC infused. <laughs> anyway, we... Okay, this goes but. down straight away though, Mia, and they are in trouble because the heavies now is on the point, and he is going to need to be focused, but he can't, they've just got no chance here, and this is the correct play, seriously, a quick fix with the heavy is so lethal, especially when Miralyn doesn't even need, to even need to build it, that's the thing, he can just latch onto a scout, get the speed, move with the heavy at speed, get the quick fix, and just heal him so quickly if he takes any damage, and at the moment, if you have no reply at this, oh, the quicks has come in, and the Cadus, Sticky's triple kill has just taken down three players and uh, Jukebox comes in from behind killing down Cadus and Two Nuts. That's actually very well played, nice pick, but they will get middle here for free, I believe, Infused. And Mia, like you were saying, you wanted to see the crits against the quick fix. There you go. Yeah, I definitely did. Now, uh, it's only rib up right now for Broder. He's doing his best to make his way back. Uh, are the scouts, yeah, they are chasing him right now. Bro, the dish managed to get out of the boards. Oh, man, Team Mike, they're trying to go in for bomb. Had about four spawners at the same time for board. Got a rocket into Marilyn's face, and is that... L Okay, but uh, Jukebox has gone spy just to check Medigun and he's uh, gone back now. Yeah, no, they have actually have also... Do they have the crit screen? Yeah, that is the crit screen. Oh, Merlin has jumped in onto the medic for a slice! <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw that. That was hilarious. Did you? <laughs> that Please was, tell me you yeah, saw that. that, that oh, my so God. beautiful. Oh, oh man, you can see, you see Jukebox there running a sentry as well. Now I'm beginning to question whether Broda are taking it seriously. Well, maybe um, they had this, maybe they were thinking about using a short, a short circuit. You know, because it is allowed, they're getting rid of stickies. But yeah, now the Sardo is on the point. Yeah, that's uh, T-Mag there jumping onto a point. Gets about half capture time on it. It's uh, only Marilyn and I believe that's Zappis on the point right now. He's being healed. That's, oh my gosh, that's an engineer trying to get on the point. That's Zappis as well. Takes down Falash and Samzy with his shotgun. What on earth? <laughs> uh, this is a... Uh, yes, this is a uh, revolution losing La Mata game, as Scrimpy said on Source TV. 
like a boss, but um, Two Nuts is still running the crit screen, whereas Mirren has actually quick fixed out here for Broda, and there's no way you're going to get this medic here. T-Mac, like until it runs out, you're not going to get him. Just I can tell you this for now. And in fact, Thalash has gone heavy. Very interesting play there. Very well played by him. But they are going to get this point recapped. And they do have the Chris Creek advantage of about 60% here on the clock. Um, they are still running an engineer here on second. <laughs> yeah, Zephyrside just picked up his level one. He's going through retro right now. He's going to lay it down to Chris support his in. team. Oh man, the crits pop from Big Door there by Team Infuse. Kay just gets Zappy for that first crit thing. Oh, he switched Merlin, up to Talash and he gets rid of Merlin with his lasers. And that sentry gun gets sniped by T Mac, who has gone sniper. Is this a show for the top team saying that they all, all these unlocks shouldn't be allowed in? This is interesting to see why he's running Engineer along with Heavy and Sniper. It's a very interesting combination, but I do think the Heavy with the GRU has made a huge difference for me along with the Quick Fix. I think that works really, really well on this map. And it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be Sniper's galore, I think, to counter it, which is the annoying thing. And now you can see two notes here coming up to 80% Chris Creek. He's popped into upper lobby with Cadis and Talash is on heavy. I think Infuse are taking it serious now. If stuff get picked off, uh, T Mac is on sniper. You can hear a sentry gun being set up uh, by two engineers, Zapis and Zebus. Crit same short circuit being used! <laughs> the short circuit being used on the crits. And it worked! It worked! That crit uh, was about to hit <laughs> the combo and, it, and Zebuside there denying it. He's also got a level 1 sentry there under in shadow right now as Samsi gets taken out by some sticks from... I, I don't know what's happening, Bite. Help me here. I, this is, it, this is basically... Like a bomb. <laughs> this, is, this is Highlander contained in 6 vs 6. This is what it is. It's a variation of so many things at the moment and it's, and it's literally... Um, and it's literally getting rid of all the me standard meta stuff that we're used to seeing. So Sticky's coming in with the crits, and it normally would kill so much, and the short circuit just completely denied that. And now Thalash is in with the crits! Can they do anything against that? The short circuit can't really help. There is Zappis there with the SG. Sniper is main as well, taking down Jukebox. T-Mac is going to get focused down here, and he gets taken down by Ton Papa. But there is a scout on the point, and they're going to get it! Oh wow, that's a cheap cap. And it's one all uh, now um, with the round being pegged back from Infused with only 7 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock gone. Alright, I'm going to attempt to do some serious analogy here. It seems like Broda put the sentries too far forward across main. They had the level 3 and they had nothing covering point. Look at uh, that, anyway, you can, Yeah, you can see Merlin quick miss jumping onto mid room. Lands right on top again. And they do <laughs> quite a bit of damage, although they do get picked off by Samson. Zappis and Merlin getting in behind. Uh, team back there picking off Broda. Pick up further picking up Zebusai from Big Door and Dallas there taking down Jukebox as well. So now it's only Tompa and Rubop. What can they do? Not much as T Mac picks up uh, Tompa as well. Yeah, Two Nuts is on the quick squeak still. He's on 100%, but he is very, very weak. But it will regen in time. Um, no unlock there that actually regens it quicker. It's just his standard, uh, standard weapon. And. Um, Will they be running the short circuit? Yes, Zebosite is running the short circuit here, so the stickies may not be very useful with the crits. Let's take a look what Mr. Ze um, Zebosite can actually do. As you can see, look, first person point of view of Zebosite, he is actually running the short circuit, so... Um, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> oh, the stickies, it's like an air blast for a pyro. It's insane. Although, a crit from Ips does manage to take down Rib there through main, which is unfortunate. Indeed, and for those that don't know what the short circuit does, um, you've just seen basically what it does. It gets rid of um, stickies and projectiles, basically. Um, is it projectiles? I'm, just, I'm trying to remember. I haven't used it for a while. But it definitely gets rid of stickies, uh, along with... Uh, yeah, destroys projectiles, that's right. Yeah, destroys projectiles. So rockets included. So he could have actually stopped that crit rocket, or crocket as we call it, Mia, but you know, yep. he didn't see it in time. This this is a beautiful game, but anyway, the Uber has been popped by Broda. Marinin has switched back to normal Uber, and Zappis are getting taken down by uh, some sticks. Sniper behind the point, going down. Yes, yeah, the oh, is he? No, Cookie he misses like every shot. <laughs> crits are in. <laughs> oh man, crits popped where? On second no, at the no, moment. Have they? Oh yeah, yeah. They were. they're faded. They didn't manage to get anyone. They got they got a they got a scout there. In fact, um, Tom uh, jukebox a soldier, sorry. And Tom Papa went down to T Mac as sniper because he missed every shot there. But nonetheless, um, Zebosite is still running that engineer, making it very difficult for Infused here to push out. Remember, they do have the. Well, I was going to say they have the crit advantage, but no more as Merlin still needs to keep on building. 
uh, as he's up against Critscree. And in fact, Infuse are very slow in building this Critscree. Yeah, very, very slow. Yeah, they... Well, right now Broda are running two snipers, one NG and a scout and a demo. Um, but anyway, it looks like Infuse are attempting to push a Riverside there. If they're getting taken down by Zappis with an SMG. Tompa and Zebaside both uh, getting taken down. T-Mac with a body shot. Where is he standing? I believe he's standing in River with the rest of the team. Good. Yes, he is. Brits are in and Drewbox has gone down and he's up against Anubis. See you later, Kadus. Kadus manages to get out. Um, luckily for him, the SG doesn't take him down. But then again, Zappis says, you know what, Kadus, you are going down. And he does. And there's a sniper up top. He is going to have to be focused. He will surely get the health back. He doesn't go for the health back. And he gets taken down instead. He went for the one-shot hero like Walters would do onto the medic. And he misses him, unfortunately. And now they are three down here in Fuse with only one just spawning. They need to drop back. Maybe give up middle as well. Um, I'd be inclined to say they should if they manage to start pushing, but they're not here. They're very slow. Yeah, indeed. They, at the moment, both medics are one-to-one. -one. Uh, Two Nuts is on Chris Creek, and Marilyn is on... I believe that's... No, that's Medica. And you can see that Zebesai has carried his level three, and it's currently in Red Choke at the moment to cover the point. I think it's the fact that he thinks that Short Circuit can destroy projectiles, and the SG on the point is much more valuable. That's, I'm, I don't know if he's trying to be serious, but it is a very interesting thought. Serious play here, in terms of the engineer. I know you'd never think that would be the case, but it, it could be the case, genuinely. And the fact that he, if he's running short circuit, right, it can stop any projectiles coming through. So, yeah, that's going to be very no, interesting. I'm watching Zebesai carry his uh, sentry gun through the map. I'm, 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 I just can't. He's setting up dis a dispenser bite. <sighs> I don't know. Well, it's going to be interesting to see because I think he's—I think the short circuit is his main asset, and then the SG is a secondary. Believe it or not, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do. At the moment, we're stuck at a one-all, and it is definitely slowing down the pace. Uh, that's all I can say. Um, now that could be due to the fact that there is new meta and teams are trying to adjust, but it also could be the fact that there's so much meta being added in too much, and it's causing too much time to be thought about in terms of what to do. Yeah, uh, and now that Chris Creek did attempt to be popped by two nuts, so that such could completely dies them. It's actually getting taken down. Although uh, Salash there getting in on Jukebox and takes him down as well. But right now, bro, they are trying to tempt this, although they are kind of one man down. Kadis is on top right now, does get caught out by a roller from Rib. That was very well played. Nice even from Marilyn, not getting caught out with the crits. And now this point will be theirs for free. And Zebosite is still running engineer. Um, I have to be inclined and just say maybe a couple of unlocks uh, would be the way to go. And the GRU, not being biased at all, along with the quick fix, is definitely the greatest addition, I think, to the meta. I think it would yeah, add I'd a little bit more. I have to agree that. Um, I think any more would just be a bit too much for teams to actually be able to respond and adapt to quick enough, in 30 minutes anyway. Um, in Highlander, it's a bit different. Um, more pl more players to counter with, and more and the maps are much much bigger normally, um, especially the p payload ones. And looks like they're on the left hand side. No, in fact, they've Ubered now against Infuse, but Infuse have still got their Uber. Uh, cr sorry, Crit Squeak, and now Tunas only just uses it, but they're in trouble now. And it does look like Zebra is just walking in as an engineer, and it's just going to be up to Kadis to block this, and there's no chance against six of, of Broda. And it's 2-1 with th uh, 13 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock played here, Mia. Um, are you surprised by, by these unlocks, or are you happy that the fact that they're playtesting them? Well, I was actually listening to what you were saying about... Uh, I don't know, I like I like the unlocks, but Zebosai there walking in short-circuiting as he walked in, and I don't know if that helped cap the point or not, but it certainly did deny Kadis. So uh, these unlocks are—I don't know—it's very interesting. I'd say that. Do you want to? Do you want to hear the t protocons? We've got protocons. I'd love to. Got a counter. Solid down. Combo left side. Down. Go off right. 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 Scott to low right. Scott to low right. Then we're out the way. Might He's be weak. some men. Demo there. Oh, I'm down. Shithouse. Demo there. Shithouse. Hello. Got a sneaky. Got a choke. Down. Scott to come up. Just come up. Two all left. Yeah. I'm. I'm out of choke. Two scouts, right? Yeah. Got the point together. Zebo. Watch out for spawn yeah, campers behind. Uh, come there, Zebo. Come there. Come there? Is yeah. he spawn camping behind us? <laughs> Probably. Nah, I'm gonna go first. Go ahead, Brave, get there. Take check uh, yeah, I'm check spawn. Uh, sniper, please. Top check is clear. Wait, we're only like four here. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Heavy claw, uh, one shot is close, top. You have the point still? Two? Move in slowly, Duke. I'm going to choke. I, I can predict you if they jump. I'm gonna go on point. I'm behind Rogue. I'm gonna pick top. Uh, demo big door. Nice. So, so the top, top. as well. The bomb there. They're leaving it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, they can't do shit. Thanks, Peter. 
Go. Oh, why you dropped? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Scout, leg door. I mean, oh, Chris. Rib, rib. Scout behind. Rib. Oh. It's yeah, leg Scout down. Demo down. I'm in. I'm coming in. Scout down. down. So you took 80 here? Yeah, so it's 80 for me. Totally weak. Come to me, Scout. I'm on river. Only two. Matter Focus, Focus, Focus Ali. Focus Ali. Nice. 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 <laughs> Let's keep playing uh, while they are on Chris. One more round. Uh, right. I'm stuck on post time. <laughs> Good head. Okay, so we heard a, heard a whole round there of them with their comms. There's a bit. Uh, I wanted to hear Zebasai, um with the short circuit. You know when he went engineer, but he didn't get a, cha get a chance to go down. So we we will try and pick that up. But as soon as he goes engineer, me let let me know and we'll try and hear the comms as to what he's thinking about. Using it, maybe he's laughing, or maybe he's actually being serious. We never know. But I think you genuinely think that. I genuinely think the fact that with a short circuit, it can actually be that useful. Um, yeah, on defense, guess, especially yeah, on last. defense. Yeah, or if you know the enemy team has a crit squeak. Something like that. Yeah, genuinely. Um, I wouldn't be playing it as if it's on the attack or if it's a nuper versus crits. There's no point in doing that. Um, but with on last, it can be very, very useful, and the short circuit could literally just. Yeah, just make the Delman void or the soldier void with crits. Um, maybe a bit too much. I'm sure Campo will be listening to this um, and saying, hmm, hmm, maybe. And ETF12 will be definitely looking at this in scrutiny to see which unlocks to selectively pick as well. I can't see them bringing all, all these unlocks in for sure. Well, th think of it like this. Let's say you're in snake water um, and you're going to push in. Instead of having to pop early through the shuttered door, you can just quickly like overheal your engineer you know, get rid of the stickies and pop a bit later. That's like the only way I can see it. And maybe also if you put an like a sentry in lobby, it means holding lobby isn't so dangerous. Maybe, yeah, you can see Cadus has actually gone... Sorry, not Cadus, Rib has actually jumped onto the point. Merlin, using the quick fix, by the way, onto middle. He gets onto the middle very, very early, thanks to Rib jumping up with him. Um, and now they are two players down in fuse. They've got no chance against Debosai, who's already up as heavy. Another three down, Thalash gets taken out. And Merlin is running the quick fix, just so you know, and it's so effective. I cannot re reinstate it anymore. Just quick fix heavy on Gully Wash is just yeah, powerful as hell. Yeah, and right now you can see that Broda are already pushing Crits into in. that lobby area. The crits ooh, doesn't get anyone, doesn't manage it. Did get popped on Cadus there. He does do a heck of a lot of damage onto Zebasai there. Finally gets taken down from Pipe, but that was way too much dam damage dealt onto him. Because Team Matt Cadis and two that's all going down. You see Stamps in there trying to solo defend the point, but uh, he just can't defend against the Broder rush, and right now it's 4 1 to Broder. Very well played, and it's quite obviously the sniper and the heavy combo is just completely decimating um, Infused here. And they haven't got a reply at the moment. I'm just surprised they're not switching classes or changing it up at all here, Infused. Really? I really would have gone for quick fix. Look at that! See, Mirilin with. Mid rib makes it a huge advantage for Rib to stay alive. Rib is like loving it. Mia, I can just imagine him laughing and thinking it's Christmas. Yeah, you can see Rib there taking down Cadus with that first sticky as he's over here. T Max are soon following him. Things are definitely not looking good for Infuse. They have got a bit of a confidence issue right now. Looks like Broder are playing it kind of passive by Big Door. The crit, the crit, the quick, quick fix, fix, the quick fix is popped onto Zebusai through choke right now. Does he manage to get one? He, he's just trying to snipe Scout. Um, Thalash there does get the uh, sniped in mid air, but uh, Tunuts now has. Is that 100% crit squeak? He's holding in lower lobby of his team. We're going to see a crit squeak sometime soon. Yep, it is a crit squeak. And they know it. Devilside knows it. He gets taken down for the stickies, and now Kadis is going to be coming in, reeking in with the crits! And he. Oh, beautiful sticky by Kadis there. Very nice onto Maryland. Zaphis takes down four players. Where is Rip? Rib is... Jukebox is behind the point. Rib is on middle, so there's no backup going on, but uh, I think that's Jukebox going down here. Unless he gets a headshot out, he doesn't. And Thalas is actually running the winger, just so you know. He is actually Ooh, running the winger, I just noticed. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's given that extra 25% height advantage, so... Uh, when it's equipped. And uh, they can see mirilin has gone back to uber charge now. It's going to be a much harder job for us casters, isn't it, Mia, to actually pay attention if these unlocks, some of these unlocks are brought through, especially if the yeah. quick fix is brought through, because they're going to have to pay attention to see if it's either quick fix crits or the medigun. Um, so right now you can see team of use going in through blue truck right now. Team Max there gets oh, taken oh, oh, down. Oh, oh. Zephyrsai has gone engineer. Zephyrsai has gone engineer. Yeah, let me, let me hear this. Let me hear this. Can play all time. But they got super advantage, man. They have crits. Main, main. They have crits. No, river. No, top left, top left, top left. I'm coming. <laughs> what up, 
Come on! Oh, oh, point. Come on! No. Why nobody's on point? Again! Yeah, I was fucking sniping. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, as I expected, that is I was laughing. <laughs> that is our weakness. <laughs> Just shut them on main. Oh, I love that. Love it. <laughs> so, uh, Broder not, not putting the shoe shoes on as Merlin jumps onto mid for what, the fifth time in a row with Rip? Yeah, the scouts and so just try jumping, but there's not much you can do. They're getting really hurt by that heavy there. I believe that's never side. Samsi, Talash, and T Mac all getting taken out by the two scouts from Broder. They're leaving Cookie to cap right now as they're already pushing on to fourth uh, with Rib and Zebasai. Oh, two North goes down to a body shot from Jukebox. Lovely shot there. And now they're in trouble. And there you can see T Mac with the abuse lines because Broder have used yeah. literally a lot of. A lot of unlocks here, and they can see too much saying, who is the autist admin allowing these weapons? And uh, <laughs> I've got to say, there's, there's two legit ones. I think the quick fix may be a little bit imba, genuinely almost a little bit imba, although I love it. It's not completely broken. Two knots goes down again to Jukebox. We will discuss this once uh, this round is over, because it will be 5-2 in favor. And a quick fix comes out. Zebra side, there's a heavy behind, assault soldier behind you. He gets taken down. Looks like it's about to be GG. Unless he can mess, a mess it up against Ips, he won't be able to. And it's going to be 5-3, 5-2, sorry, in favor of Broder. And that's a GG. Wow, that that right there was Merlin and Zebra side, that last push there. Yeah, I mean, uh, let me just let me just hold it off, I suppose, uh, come up with the discussion of the quick fix. But uh, congratulations to Broda for finishing the map CP underscore Gullywash underscore final one, 5-2, um, who are on the blue team. Uh, and will now qualify to the final for the best of three against, I'm going to guess, Epson Esports, unless they lost somehow to, is it 425? Could be wrong. Um, or is it RL? No, RLM, isn't it? Sorry. RLM. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, your casters have been Mia and by and your streamer has been Ari for the ESA Ozone Open Cup number three unlocks galore. Um, so yeah, going back to this quick fix, uh, I, I feel like I should discuss it. I suppose for those to understand how why it's so beneficial there with the Dalman. Marilyn manages to come up with Dalman. Dalman then has that immunity of literally staying alive unless you get the only thing that could probably stop him is a sniper, a headshot, a charged headshot. But other than that, Mia, if a scout rushes him, he's always got the medic with him. You know, whereas before, if yeah. a down man jumps onto the point, he's on his own, and he's on like 130 health. It's really different. Um, <sighs> and then we can see Marilyn's in sighing. <laughs> Hello, so Marilyn. <laughs> Hello, Marilyn, for your une <laughs> unexpected oh. uh, entrance here. Um, I wasn't told you were coming on, but hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh. <laughs> um, obviously, I... Uh, we've been watching the quick fix mainly uh, of all the things. Obviously, Zebasai going heavy makes a huge difference, but then again, it is gully watch. But um, I'm guessing you like the quick fix as well, Marilyn. Do you think yeah. it's a bit? Do you think it's broken a little bit, or do you think it's correct, balanced well? Or I, I think that uh, you can jump together with someone. Uh, in some situations, it's really imba, and in some situations, it's uh, like. It, for example, you don't want to jump anywhere and you still buff someone and that person jumps and then you jump together with him, that is really bad. You can die because of that. Yeah, so would you say that's balanced then? Because sometimes it can win it for you, sometimes it can lose it for you, unless you know how to use it? <laughs> no, I think you should really remove that jumping thingy. <laughs> but surely if you remove that, that functionality from the quick fix, wouldn't that just make th that weapon pretty much useless? Because, I mean, the whole idea is for you to be mobile. Uh, uh, well, I think that uh, uh, movement empiring effects, yeah, like when you Uber, you don't have these things that somebody can juggle you. Oh, I, think, I see. I okay. think this already makes this weapon really imba, and uh, also you can build uh, Uber really fast. Yeah, that's uh, that's a known, I believe, bug, but they've uh, apparently put it in where you don't have to actually build. You can just all you need to do is heal, and it charges yeah. at the maximum rate. That is something that is a bit broken I feel because uh, with the other two you have to actually charge it so it's not quite fair I think uh, that is one thing I would remove from it but as for the mobility I think it's part of the quick fix because if you get focused very quickly which you weren't <laughs> um, uh, then uh, uh, you would go down like you know there's no way about it 188 you don't charge up quick enough if a down man hits you along with a soldier you're dead so it just depends how 
yeah, how much focus fire there is on you. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. Obviously, we saw Zebasai running the short circuit as well. Now, we we weren't sure if he was trolling because we heard a little bit of comms where you were laughing and so on, saying, oh, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. But it is actually a legitimate weapon to against the, the projectiles, isn't it? So Soldier uh, and yeah, Demo. Yeah. Kaidus uh, was shooting a rocket into me, uh, not rocket, uh, sticky, is, Krita, yeah, yeah, we Krita saw. sticky, and uh, mm-hmm. Zebo, he reflected everything. <laughs> <laughs> also, when we were pushing last point, there were a lot of stickies on the last point. And, and you uh, just got rid of them. <laughs> yeah, Zebo said, remove them all. <laughs> um, I should be a little bit more serious and say, Miralyn, what do you think, like, in terms of these unlocks? Do you think any of these are valid? Do you think a few of them need to be put in? Any of them? Like, what's your stance on it? Uh, I think uh, Engineer's weapon was really nice, that removes projectile. Okay, and anything else, or just that as an unlock? Oh, well, uh, quick fix, it makes game really... That's my opinion. <laughs> well, I think it changed the meta. Um, yeah. I think it changed... No, honestly, because you, you, what it meant was, on the mid rollouts, it meant that you could be with Rib, which means he would never die, for sure, because you're on him. You know? Every time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. jumping with him, so... <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think the quick fix needs to be fixed in terms of the charging. I think that's a bit ember because all you have to do is heal, and it's always like a max rate charging, which is not good. Other yeah. than that, other than that, I think it's I think it's there. I think the mobility is part of the uh, part of the quick fix, and it needs to be there. Otherwise, it's not really useful. Uh, yeah, I agree with you absolutely. So um, yeah, no, it's interesting. Did you like the? Did you think the gloves made a big difference or or not? Uh, gloves. Yeah, no, for it, the heavy. Because I know Zebus I used it. It's actually really nice because heavy can arrive to the middle slightly faster. Yeah, and I suppose another question is: is would you like to see the heavy more in the meta game? Basically, Marilyn, would you would you be pro for that or or against that? Because there's a lot of Div One <coughs> friend players who are against it, saying that heavies and sixes is bad. But um. Uh, uh, what, 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 what do you, what do you agree? Why, what do you uh, think about that? Uh, I use quick fix, yes, and basically when heavy arrived to middle, uh, I could uh, all the time heal him uh, really good because quick fix, uh, all yeah. he heals with crit uh, heals, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I know. Yeah, it's. Uh, I said that. I said uh, quick fix and a heavy is just yeah lethal. Yeah, with lethal. this one. Yeah, with this one, it's pretty much decent. But if you're using normal medigan or crits, then nice. I think heavy yeah. is bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Uh, I definitely agree with that. I think it's more lethal with the quick fix. Even though you don't get the buff, but it heals so quickly, it's almost like as if you had more health than 450, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, but what do you think about then, as as in, just forget the quick fix for now, just the heavy coming into the meta. Do, are you uh, with, are you pro or against that? Like, like, would you like to see the heavy come more into middles and, and into the game? Or <coughs> Yes, uh, I always, like, when I was playing in Faculty Brigade, I always played play on Gulliwatch uh, with Leon on heavy. Heavy, yeah. Or yep. on the well as heavy. Yeah. It yeah, was yeah. really attractive and nice, because when uh, you heal heavy and just dodge around, it's it's a lot of fun. But uh, the problem is that uh, Team Fortress 2 has changed now, and uh, if enemies are using two soldiers... Uh, uh, soldiers just arrive much faster than heavy arrives to the middle, and uh, basically team with heavy just losing. That's the only problem. I suppose so, but then again, you need to remember the fact that you are relying on on your Derman, who is going to stay alive much more, so he can do damage much more, which could change a little bit. If you know what I mean, like you're you're going to be arriving with the Derman on middle, and then you could easily heal the scouts already because you're there before them. Which could change how much damage they do and how long they stay alive, which means their heavy could come in more. Yeah, that's with so quick on. fix, yeah? Yeah, yeah, with quick fix, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah of but course. you asked, uh, like, without Yeah, yeah, quick fix. sorry, yeah, of course, yes, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, on its own, obviously, yeah, but with combined of the quick fix, it would be pretty good to see. I, I'm, I've got to say, me and Mia were pretty much agre- in agreement with the quick fix and the, the gloves. Um, the short circuit, we weren't sure if you were trolling, but I genuinely saw a, a stage where Zebosai was actually using it as a proper like air blast, like as if it was a pyro air blasting, basically. Yeah, yeah. that's really nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sticky flies into me, and Zebosai <laughs> reflects it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think Infused were happy. I don't think T-Mac was as well. I don't know if you saw his line of rage, but... Uh, um, oh. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, though, as well, to be serious, Marilyn, maybe I don't know if you agree with this or your team, but adding too many unlocks will make it too too slow because it may, means teams have to figure out much more. And I know adapting is good, but I think if you add so many more unlocks, it's going to be very, very hard to counter. Ah, <coughs> uh, yes, I think. Well, yes, I think it will be slightly hard. 
but uh, about the quick fix, I think this weapon should be added after a couple of nerfs, definitely. But not now, because this weapon is so imba. <laughs> and uh, engineer that thingy which reflects things. I think yeah. it's nice item. You can add it maybe in next season. Interesting. So, uh, just to summarize then, uh, while we finish this interview off, uh, Merlin, what do you think that should be nerfed on the quick fix? Uh, I liked uh, your idea where you said that uh, uh, the charge should yeah, be yeah, fixed. Yeah, yeah, that should be a standard. Yeah, yeah. should be the same as the Uber and the crits. Like, it should be for any medigun where you have to charge it. Yeah. So, yeah. Or we can go from another site and uh, leave the charge matter building fast, but. Uh, remove that mobility that you can jump I wherever you want. I think a lot of teams will probably go for the charging like as in that be nerfed because that's how it should be with the other two and that's how it is. The mobility is genuinely part of the quick fix because you only get 50% buff which means you're more entitled to die and mm -hmm. if you can be with them then that obviously helps them. That's the whole point with the mobility. It would just ruin what the quick fix is all about I believe. Um, so yeah, I think the heal should be fixed on it, and if anyone can do a suggestion to Valve, that would be great. Um, it could just be a genuine bug by Valve, I don't know what the deal is there, but um, yeah. Another thing, Merlin, is if you notice, did you notice when you actually used the quick fix, you actually got buffed yourself? You noticed that or not? Uh, no. You're, you're on, 100, <laughs> you're on 188 um, health <coughs> when you uh, quick fix. That's really nice. But uh, when I used Quick Fix, I was like in Berserk mode with my team. Come on, guys! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! <laughs> I th yeah, I think that might be a bug as well, though, because if you think about it, when you use Crit Creek, you don't have crits yourself, do you? No. No, exactly. Uh, but Uber, you do, to be fair. You do have the Uber charge. So maybe it's not a bug. Maybe it's part intentional. Somebody just came in with a question for maybe you here, Merlin. Um, is, uh, what about uh, the fact that you can still cap whilst you've Ubered with Quick Fix? Do you think that's a good thing or something that needs to be removed? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, this thing should be, well, it definitely needs some fixes, because uh, uh, the only uh, class which can kill a uh, Ubert uh, uh, enemies, yeah, with quick fix, it's only Demoman, and only if he puts uh, some 4 or 5 stickies. That's the only way how you can remove. But, uh... True, true, yep, um, that's assuming you haven't charged it quick enough than crits, but yeah, you should do, because if you're always healing, you will get it before the crits creak, for sure. Yeah, so maybe I think, uh, like, you know, uh, when medic caps point, it's one guy capping, and uh, people can do something like, if it's uh, a target under quick fix, uh, you were uh, No, like, capping, yeah, but it's not one uh, player, it's like uh, 0.5 players capping, like, the oh, speed I is see. slower. Like I something see. like that. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you think yeah, basically it needs a little tweak of nerfing the quick fix. I have to tend to agree with that. I think it's not broken, but it's definitely. I don't think it's usable. I think it needs a little bit of a tweak, um, refinement, especially with the building the Uber charge and maybe how the quick fix is how the quick fix works. I think if you think about it, right, when you get a heavy onto the point or any point when it's being quick fixed, it's literally impossible <laughs> yeah. to take it down. So yeah. it may be like you said, maybe change the fact that it can cap at such a quick rate, or, or they can't. It stops them from capping. You know when you use bonk, for example. You yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, something like that. Maybe I'm not sure, but it would be interesting to see. I think that would be a better option for Valve to bring in the nerf for the quick fix. Um, but yeah, all these interesting questions people have been, you know, asking me and sending me Steam PMs of me and Merlin. So that's why I'm asking you as well. So uh, obviously now you play Epsilon Esports in the final, which is at, is that 21-15 or is it 20-15 CST? Um, uh, you have no idea, to be honest. It's, at it's 21. 21 CST. Yep, yeah, in 25 minutes then. So you're playing in 25 minutes, Marilyn, and uh, our best, uh, you best go and polish your quick fix and use it again <laughs> on the other side. Uh, which map is it, by the way? Um, don't know, I'm guessing it's best of three. So you, oh. get to, um, you get to pick a map. So if I was you, Marilyn, if, I, if you really want to use the quick fix as heavy, use the user on Granary. Just, just a hint, a little hint. It's such an Ember map with quick fix, heavy on balcony. Think about it. Think about it. All I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, before we started to play ESA, we practiced uh, with quick fix. That's yeah. why it went so good. I like I pulled out some nice strategies. I practiced rollouts with Roop, and uh, at at the moment, only Snake Potter seems like impossible map for quick fix. Like it's because of, of the sheer height, though. That's why you're up a hill, and then you have to go to get height advantage. You've got the 
Lots yeah. to go on. So I, high. I jumped with Roop together yeah. uh, to top, but the problem was at that time when we actually arrived on the middle, it was already a scout coming to us, enemy yeah, yeah. scout. It was a soldier jumping on us and it was demo man spamming us. It was so impossible to deny them. Uh, like, the middle map is so flat where uh, enemy targets are coming out. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Uh, and uh, I haven't seen a, a valid call, like clause to go on Snake Water with Quick Fix at the moment. It seems to be the out of all the maps I've played with it, it seems to be the most difficult one for me, along with um, Badlands, believe it or not. Um, cause, because Badlands is very quick paced, um, and yeah, you either get wiped or you don't, and yeah. It's quite difficult, I suppose. But uh, I think Granary and Gullywash are the top two, top maps for Quick Fix, with Heavy especially, because you can use Heavy on both really well. <laughs> yeah, so. I think we'll use on Granary to make Nox Rage and then win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so surprised. Uh, I can see Epsilon using. Trust me, Epsilon using these unlocks. Really? Uh, yeah, I can see gear going heavy. I can see uh, also Mouse running quick fix. Trust oh me. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I. I. don't know. Just watch the space. Maybe Mike or gear. I'd rather put gear on on heavy and Mike on soldier because beast. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. So yeah, it's going to be a very interesting final. Um, I best let you go, Marilyn, because we've got to we've got to start our preparations now. Uh, uh, yeah, Sorry, thank yeah. you very much, man. That's all right. Best of luck in the final, and uh, hopefully speak to you after. Yeah, thank you very much. No uh, cheers. Uh... See you, man.